Thank you very much for checking out the Men in Nutrition video series. We're going to release all the individual snippets in piecemeal fashion. Today we are going to feature Dustin Momi. Let's show some love to the individual by liking, commenting, sharing, and connecting via social media with each individual. I'm also on the platform Buy Me A Coffee. This is a platform that allows creators like myself to create content and get rewarded in a variety of payments. I've decided to do it via coffee. So if you'd like to buy me a coffee, you can do so. And if you want to send one to the uh, individual I'm interviewing, send it to me and I will send it their way. With that being said, thank you very much for being here with us today. I hope you really enjoyed the video and have a wonderful rest of your day. My name is Dustin Momi and I'm a registered dietitian nutritionist residing in Seattle, Washington. I would say I really got into nutrition and dietetics during high school when I began playing basketball for my high school team and I just really began experimenting with my diet to see what would best allow me to perform uh, at my peak and really just saw the benefits that it had for me and, and all the things that it did on the court and then also in the classroom and just wanted to, to share this experience and how it changed my life with others and it led me to become a dietitian. So currently I am a consulting dietitian with the company Dietitian Consulting Services or DCS. Um, we're a group of dietitians that go into assisted living homes and skilled nursing facilities and just check in with the residents and stuff, do nutritional assessments and uh, implement correct interventions. We're also able to go in and check these facilities' kitchens and ensure that they are all up to date. We'll do kitchen inspections and we'll also do test tray observations um, just to ensure that they are all meeting state guidelines. So why do we need more men in the profession? Anytime we serve a population with a variety of people, you need a diverse group of professionals in order to really get your message across in an effective and meaningful way. This doesn't just include people of different gender, but it also includes uh, professionals of different age groups, uh, of different cultural and ethnic backgrounds. Anytime there is diversity in a profession, let alone just nutrition, it allows patients to find someone that they feel more comfortable with, and it really allows us to, to get our message across and, and our interventions just work better. So for any man wanting to take care of their health, I would just say ask questions. Just ask the right questions if something is bothering you from a nutritional standpoint, from any kind of medical standpoint. You know, ask the questions and don't just brush it aside. Don't try to be macho as I know a lot of us want to do. Hey, I do it sometimes too, you know. I would just say ask the questions. Make sure that you are taking care of yourself. Make sure that you are getting your annual checkups done, your biannual checkups done, um, other things such as you know, fueling yourself the right way and getting adequate sleep and, and adequate exercise. And if you do that, you're really going to have good health for years to come.